about to get started here. And today's starter, Tanner Howe. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Fox handles the chance. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. So next to hit for Baltimore, Cedric Mullen. Hitless in four at bats yesterday. Cold Cedric. night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Three. Got him looking. And the Orioles set down in order. Three up. Back here at Fenway, now batting Jaron Duran. You talk about elite defensive Leading players, off. especially Four in the middle of the five. diamond. And this the guy is field. at the top of the list. And that's a base hit. Around first, heading for two. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with stack cast. Dead head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as he came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. And here is J.D. Martinez. J.D. That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. J.D. Martinez takes him deep, and they add to their lead. It's 3-0. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, David Ortiz. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Well struck, right field, on its way. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A solo shot. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 4-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Here's that Xander Bogarts. Not shortstop. Xander Bogarts. The wind of the pitch. That one hammered center field. That's back. That one is gone. Xander Bogarts hits one out. His 12th of the season, and they add a run. It's 5-zip. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. And out of here. He deposits that one into the monster seats. His second of the year, and they add a run. It's 6-0. And their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog. And right now, for these guys, clearly it's the long ball. Now the Orioles manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Keegan Aiken is done. Dog! It just got out of here. His first homer of the year, and they add on. It's 7 0. And now, Enrique Hernandez. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Wow, four consecutive home runs. These guys are taking batting practice in now the batting. game. Just Better unbelievable at bats. Get and I tell you what, that hitting coach Go over there man. in the dugout, he's feeling pretty proud of himself right now. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it's off the wall. Betts into second. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Now batting, left fielder, J.D. Here's J.D. Martinez. That one ripped left field. That ball's carried. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. 
That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Now on the bump, Jorge Lopez. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. That one lays to center and a base hit. Sheesh, Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. And with two down, the Red Sox. The early lead. Now here's Sander Bogarts now. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And that one is off the wall. Bogarts into second. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Next to hit, Kevin Euclid. And the pitch. Out towards right center field. Mullins makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Durant moving under this one. Hauls it in for the out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. And the right hander back to work. Trey Mancini stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Next offering is foul back. And yeah, the right hander deals. Stays alive. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Anthony Santander at the plate. One run batted in yesterday. Their only run of the game. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Next offering is down low. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Out number three. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. And here's the catcher, Christian Vasquez. And a pitch. That one the other way. And Vasquez is gone. One down. Sometimes you want to be aggressive early in the at bat. He was right there. Hard line out, first pitch of the inning. No reward, but hey, you got to keep swinging it. Lopez back to work. Well struck left field. Makes the catch up against the wall. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. And stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Banks off the wall. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit. That one is absolutely belted. Pulls it in on the warning track. And the Red Sox. Top half of the third inning. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. And first offering is fouled off. You know, Singy, they talk about Red Sox nation, but there is something to that because the Boston Red Sox aren't just about Boston or Massachusetts. It's that whole New England area. So you're talking about Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Northern Connecticut. There's a whole segment of the country that is locked in on the Boston Red Sox pitch to pitch throughout the summer. That one hammered left field back there. On the warning track and hauls it in. Wow, that one almost got out of here. I know the wind's blowing out to left, but man, that almost pushed it over the fence. I bet guys are trying to get the ball up in the air and hit it that direction. I know I would be. Comes up empty on the swing, only two now. They travel really well, and I think Red Sox fan. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. That's out. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Now it's J.D. Martinez. 
great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Swung on, belted. That one's carrying. And gone! He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three homer game. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. He leaves the yard to right, his seventh home run of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 14 0. And now it's going to be Wade Boggs. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. It's Xander Bogarts now. The batter, number two. Shortstop. A wide to kick the pitch. Bogarts. And a rope into center field. Base hit. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Mullins makes the grab, one away. Now batting, the catcher. And now the catcher comes up to him, Christian Vasquez. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one is gone. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to Mountcastle. They get him, but it was pretty close. Man, that was bang, bang. Tough to tell at full speed, boo. I got to be honest with you. I couldn't tell either. As they ask for time to check with their replay guys about a possible challenge, we wait and see. Yeah, and we usually get a couple of close ones every game, it seems. And this one is just about as close as it gets. Now it's the power-speed combo. Jaron Duran. This guy has turned into a beast. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. His first homer of the year, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 19 to nothing. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Line drive, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. J.D. Martinez stands in. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back. And that one is going to go. So here's the cleanup hitter, David Ortiz, for the fourth time tonight. Tate back to work. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Wade Boggs now up next for the Red Sox. And a pitch. Bob. That one ripped. That's back. Bangs off the wall. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Three hits in this one, all of them for extra bases. What a game. Just That's missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Mullins makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at Fenway Park, here's the shortstop at the play. Ramon Urias. The foul ball. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Brodansky. 
the Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs. But that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Fox fires over to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Going to now. Nope. And that just misses. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a... Oh, that's a strikeout. And that'll do it for the inning. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Tanner Scott. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. He was all over that first pitch oh, fastball, but just barely Look missed good. it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. And here it comes. That one ripped. That's back. Hits the top of the wall. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. One out, runner at second. And next for the Red Sox, Enrique Hernandez. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And it hits the fence. Relay throw to second. Now two away as they get a run across. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. He's already homer here in this one. Pitch. On the ground, right side. Into the outfield, base hit. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Here's Mookie now. Swings and blasts one deep to left center, and it's out of here. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Oh, he can't squeeze it. Boogie doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base, and when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. Digging in, David Ortiz. That one ripped right center field, and it's out of here. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one. And everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Hammered to center. No doubt about this one. Way out of here. Gone. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Base is empty with two away. Stepping in, the slugging shortstop. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. That's a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse Go after hitters and get quick outs. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Got him. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They have clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Mancini swings through one there. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This to center field. Duran settles underneath it, and that'll do it. A new arm into the game, the righty, Tyler Wells. Back here at Fenway, and stepping in is the speedy Kevin Euclid. And that's a base hit.
Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with stack pass. Good head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. The pitch. Swing and a line drive caught. Jaron Duran digs in now. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air left field. Pretty well struck. And it's off the wall. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double. Second and third now. The right field. Here's Mookie Betts. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate but also in the field. The right hander back to work. There's a strike. Out in front and foul to the left side. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Two outs. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. And now J.D. Martinez. Up next to the left side. No left fielder. The wind of the pitch. J.D. Martinez. That one ripped. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Mookie Betts with the big strike in the inning. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. He's a guy Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And, you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Righty to the plate. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. That one fouled off. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. So he's perfect through six. Now we go bottom six. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, David Ortiz. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare. They're so special and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Mullins racing over to make the catch. And here is Xander Bogarts. And he deals. Here's the swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Line drive, and a base hit. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boogan. 
These are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And that one's gone. The battle, number five. Here's Kike Hernandez. And a foul ball, third base side. Kicks and deals. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way and gone. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. Enters this now one with four Jared extra Jared. base hits already in the Jared. series. Jared. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balance. Hammer to center. No doubt about this one. Way out of here. Gone. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one is gone. Unreal. Absolutely unreal, Boog. I mean, this is an all-time performance right here. Five home runs in a single game? Are you kidding me? This is something we're never going to forget. A performance that clearly will go down in history as one of the best ever. And I'm just in awe of what we've seen. And he's getting a standing O for me right now. Now back, the third baseman, Ray. And a pitch. Oh. Into center and a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. No batter, no and the hands two. just continue Good to job. carry through Andrew. the middle of the field. Here's Xander Bogarts. That one ripped on its way. And out of here. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Coming on for the Orioles, Paul Fry. He's into the game with the bases empty. And the batter now, Kevin Euclid. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the back that gets now, everyone's Kepner. attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. So two away with nobody on. Here's a big power threat. Enrique now, Hernandez. He's a guy who does it all. Fry back to work. And that one pulled foul. And now the lefty. Left field way back there. That one's got a chance. And it's out of here. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. Ziggy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Good head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer. Back in Boston, top of inning number seven. Here's the Orioles leadoff hitter, Ramon Urias. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the alley. Owen two as he waves at that one. Next pitch is popped up. Ortiz pulls it down, one up, one down. 
Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. He hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone now. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very further today. Economical with the pitch count. Mullins in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pick up and down. Got him looking. And good work there. As Bottom of the inning. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. Red Cup. The left fielder. J.D. And the pitch. Martinez. Strikeouts have been a big part of the success in not allowing a hit. That one ripped way back there. And that one's gone. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, David Ortiz. Pitch. Out towards center. That one's back. And it's off the top of the wall. And that's a double. Just wait, box now. The third baseman. The pitch. Bounce to the right side. Mountcastle takes it himself and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. And a pitch. Hard hit to third. Base hit and a run into score. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And now, Kevin Euclidus. Down the line, it's a base hit. And into second with one away. That's a double. Sheesh. Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Over the monster and on to Lansdowne Street. Home run. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. And what a two-way player. Not just offensively, but as good a defensive outfielder as there is in the game. Still only one out here in the inning. The other way, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, Mookie Betts. And a pitch. That one ripped left field. Back there. That one is gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And here is J.D. Martinez. It bangs off the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. What a gutsy play. I always found that it was difficult because of such a wide warning track here at Fenway Park. To get back there, sometimes you don't know where you are. But with reckless abandon, he goes up and challenges the monster and comes down with an incredible catch. That one the other way. Pulls it in on the run. 
and that's the back inside Fenway Park ready to begin the eighth here's Ryan Mountcastle fought off foul and now the one swing and a miss 98 on the gun next offering is foul back and down on strikes he goes and there's one down simply sad this guy's flailing at the plate right now just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body that's his fifth strikeout of the series and we're just two games in so hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him his at bats are just a little tough to watch right now swing and a miss and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat pitch well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight I mean finding all the holes in his swing and his approach just frustrating for him up there you strike out a guy three times in a game I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach figure out how they're beating him make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry swing and a miss struck him out the big righty strike Back here in Boston, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Joe stepping in for Boston. Wade Boggs. The third baseman. Wade. Here comes the pitch. That one lifted to left. Hayes. He ranges to his right, and that one hops the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. And here comes Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts. And he deals. Lined, and that's a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took it. That one drilled left field, and it hits the fence. Vasquez into second, and he's got a double. Everything came together perfectly for yeah, him right there. Everything was mechanically five. sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Now batting Jaron Duran. Now batting center fielder. The pitch. And that's a base hit. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Now it's Mookie Betts. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. I think he's... surprised everyone in the ballpark and especially the pitcher it wasn't a great lead there but when he took off I think he caught him off guard nice job to get to third that one ripped bangs off the wall he pulls into second as they score a pair on the play picks himself up a couple of ribbies at 110 miles per hour on the exit velo that thing was screaming and that's some serious bat speed to generate contact like that and no doubt a higher launch angle that one is hammered right field. This one is crushed. That one is gone. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's some real power at the plate. Wade Boggs. 
Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Oh, now this is drilled to center. Way back there. On its way and gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets number everyone's number attention. Two. Got a pitch to drive, short to the Hanger. baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Center field. That's back there. Hits the fence. Around second, he wants the cycle. And he's there at third with a triple. So, man aboard. Next to hit, Kevin Euclid. The designated hitter, Kevin Euclid. And here it comes. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it's out of here. Pitcher tried to intimidate with that fastball up and in, but he was ready for it. Pulled the trigger, and man, explosive through the zone right there. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good now swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit v -low wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all... Line drive. Banks off the wall. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. And he's into second with nobody out. Jaron Duran will hit next. To the, left the, center field. the pitch. Duran. Ground ball up the middle. Mateo over to pick it up. Tosses the first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now Here's back. Mookie to hit. Mookie. pitch oh now this is blasted way back there on its way gone well not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat and even though he hit it pretty well it was anything but a sure thing to get out but today the conditions were right you got just enough of it and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry whips it across and Martinez is out Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Red Sox, David Ortiz. The pitch. And a base hit into right. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Nice line drive to the full side, headed it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now here is Wade Box. Swing and a laser off the bat. This looks like extra bases. And now let's see if he goes for it. Ortiz coming home. Urias with a relay throw. And it's in time to get him. But one. We go to the ninth. And now it's Austin Hayes. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh, I'll tell you right now. Every player defensively on their toes like never before. Next offering is foul back. Got him. Now one gone in the ninth. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They are going to make the play. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Jacob Nottingham. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. Got him. A perfect ending to a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this.